When I lost my eyesight, I thought, well, my life is pretty much at an end. After you've been blind a while, you learn to cope, and, and uh, it's a it's a different it's a different world. Um, after the parabolic flight, I became intrigued with the uh, relationship between myself and my environment. And so, when I returned to San Francisco. We started working on uh, working out a computer system that I could sail by myself out in the bay and be hooked up with an experienced sailor on land. We put together a head camera uh, hooked up to the internet with a microphone and an earpiece so that we could talk back and forth. We started playing with putting uh, cameras and, and uh, laptops together and trying to find a way of being able to broadcast via the internet. Uh, as we became more experienced with uh, sailing on the bay and, and, and as the system became to work, I wanted to expand this to other modes. Uh, we found out that being able to go through a store and go shopping with the remote guide at the other end, being able to pick out the products that I want, it was just a, a super feeling of freedom. It was like I was 16 years old and, and had gotten my driver's license. Again. I used to be a skier, and I thought, well, why don't I go skiing with this system? So I thought, well, how would this work with riding a bicycle? I've, I've done some pretty crazy things in my life, but this experience and, and uh, running around blind, not being able to see anything at all, and relying on other people miles and miles and miles away from me to tell me to go left and go right, uh, I've, I've, got to be, I've got to be insane to do some of this stuff. Good, look good, and a little to the left, slightly to the left. Stop! Oh. Well, there are, there are many different problems with the, the blind relating to uh, being on Earth. Uh, the, the same biological systems that you rely on on Earth in order to keep your balance don't work in outer space. I was looking for a, a different way of being able to function uh, without those systems. The inner space, what I call inner space, is just kind of a, a way of thinking. I just discovered a true freedom of uh, movement that I haven't experienced in the last 10 years. 